So with this one here, right, with the angle here, remember it's the adjacent, so this means then we're going to use cos, to so be 80 cos 40 that side, okay, uh, which we can work out on our calculator to be 61.28, and then um, this side then, well it's not with the angle, because there's the angle there, so it's the opposite side we want, isn't it, opposite of the angle, because that's going to be sine, so it'll be 80 sine 40 along there. So I do that on my calculator, it comes out to be 51.42, okay? Um, number two here, with the angle, there's the adjacent there, right? so that's going to be cos, so it'll be 79 cos 15. You can do a triangle here, like I've done before, right? If you just convince yourself, but it will be 79 cos 15, so that comes out to be 76.31. And then along here then, it'll be 79 sine 15. Okay, because it's opposite the angle. So it comes out to be 20.45. Okay. Um, now, be careful here when they give you the angle to the vertical. Okay, just be careful with this. Because the question you've got to ask yourself then is, where is the adjacent? Where is the adjacent side? Okay. It's not going to be here. Okay. The adjacent side is always with the angle, isn't it? It's next to the angle. That's the adjacent side here. Okay, so where the adjacent side is going to be your cos. So we're going to write cos here. So we're actually going to write 90 cos 40 there. Okay, whereas this side is going to be 90 sine 40. Okay, because it will be opposite. Now I can illustrate that to you on here. Because if we've got the 90 degrees going that way. Now they've given us the angle to the vertical, haven't they? Okay, they said that this is 40. So if I do my triangle here, because that's 40 there, this will be my adjacent, this will be my hypotenuse. My opposite, of course, will be there, opposite the angle, hence horizontally. This is opposite, that would be my sign there. So when you go through the old Sokartoa thing, I'll just do the, I'll just work out the, this side here. We'll, we'll use the cos, won't we? And it'll be cos 40 equals A over H. So it'll be A over H, which is 90. Take the 90 up, it'll be 90 cos 40. So with the angle, next to the angle is the adjacent side, and adjacent sort of has the cos property. But here it's going to be sine, isn't it? Because it's the side that is opposite the angle here. And that's parallel to the horizontal side there. So I hope that makes sense. And the same number number four, okay, the adjacent side is there, isn't it? Okay, that's the adjacent side next to the angle. So it's going to be 90 cos 30 here and 90 sine 30 there. Okay, because again, think about it if you want to. You could set that up again with a triangle. I've got 90 newtons going that way. The 30 degree angle is there. Okay, just think, just think about your hypotenuse, but then think about your opposite and your adjacent. That's your hypotenuse always, but your adjacent is here, isn't it? And there's your opposite, okay? So it's like, if you want, you can draw a line in there if you wanted to. Okay, that will be opposite your angle there. So you're using sine for this side, which is parallel to that. Okay, so that's why we've got sine there and cos here.